Hey dude, your boy Dustin here from Half Baked Games, and tonight I'm going to show you a little tutorial video on how to get one of the most powerful weapons in Fallout New Vegas, and that's the Euclid Sea Finder. Now, first thing you want to do is go to uh, New Vegas and go to the east gate of Freeside, and you'll know you're at the right gate because it's the one that's uh, right next to Mick and Ralph's. Um, now, right next to Mick and Ralph's is another little abandoned building. Hey um, well, I guess it's not really abandoned, but go up to hey. the top steps and in the daytime um, you can pay this kid a thousand caps I believe it is or you can just go oh, ahead and uh, you're funny looking. Steal, steal from him, pickpocket and he has I, I already did it so you won't see it on him in this but um, you will see the Euclid Sea Finder on him um, just pickpocket that from him and then I'll take you to the next step Alright, next thing you want to do is open up your Pip-Boy and go to your map. And you're going to want to go to Helios 1. If you're not familiar where that is, it's really easy to find. Um, it's actually just a little bit north of Novak, which is a town you're going to come on um, if you just do the main quest line anyway. So, if you haven't reached it yet, if you don't know where it's at yet, hang in there, you'll find it soon. But, go to, uh, go to Helios 1 and it might take um, a little talking to of the guards and persuading them to let you in but it should be pretty easy to get inside and then once you get inside go down into the basement and you'll see uh, hey, two dudes in lab coats one of them is fantastic uh, talk to him and you'll get a quest called uh, the lucky old son hey, and whenever you uh, whenever you do that quest um, that's what leads you up to being able to charge the Euclid Sea Finder so it actually becomes the powerful weapon that it is. Okay, now during your quest, at some point you're going to have to go into the center of Helios 1 inside the tower. And at that point you're going to have to repair the mainframe computer and it's going to tell you, um, it's going to give you different options on where to reroute the power of Helios 1. Um, whenever you go into the mainframe, you go up and you want to um, access the computer and you want to reroute the power to the Archimedes 2. I believe it's uh, no option number 4, but uh, that's the one that's going to power up your weapon. Okay, so the last thing you do is go outside to the top of the tower and you'll make your way to this little control panel here. And then you just flip the switch and you'll see that the... Uh, that the weapon got charged and there is one little catch it is the one of the most powerful weapons in the game if not the most powerful but it only charges once a day so take that as you will but it pretty much destroys everything in its path um, so if you get in a jam it's pretty good for that um, but other than that it's um, pretty easy to get to Okay, and I'll show you in just a second on me actually firing the weapon so you can see the damage that it does and what it looks like. But um, that's about it for, for this tutorial. If it helped you, if you like it, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, your boy Dustin, Half Big Games. Take care. I guess it works.